Hey there, Bolters. Have you ever been browsing online and found an absolutely gorgeous design library or found some beautifully crafted UI components and wanted to implement them into your Bolt project? In this video, we'll show you exactly how to do so. So what are these design libraries and UI components? Here's an example. This is Untitled UI. Think of it as a collection of Lego bricks that you can assemble together to build your final web app. Now, the good thing about this is that these components have been pre-built with accessibility and performance in mind. So you don't need to optimize for some of these buggy edge cases that may emerge if you build the components yourself. So here's a great example, a date picker component. Now, instead of having to build this ourselves and explicitly state that February only has 28 days, we can come in and simply take the code from this component and bring it directly into our project. Now, most design libraries offer guidance on how to install their components. So let's scroll down a bit and look at the installation section. We're going to copy what it says here. And we're going to jump over into Bolt and ask to install the component using that piece of code. Here's my prompt. Please install the Untitled UI Date Picker component using this code. Please show it above the Hello World title. Now to add a little bit more context, what we're going to do is we're going to actually select the code from the date picker itself. We're going to copy that code, jump back into the project and add a little bit more context. Say so here is an example implementation of it and paste the code. Our build is complete and now we can see we've got a date picker on our page. What happens if we open it up? Okay, we've got a little issue with the colors, but the best way to troubleshoot this is take a screenshot and we're going to add this back into the agent. Look carefully at the colors on the date picker. Please fix. It should suit light mode. And just like that, our date picker's colors are now fixed. And let's check that it's fully functional. It seems as though it's marking today's date. We can also change between the selected day, change to different months, and notice it successfully passes on the date to the date picker. Let's see what other components we can add in. We've got headers, section footers, sidebar navigation. This looks great. We've got a few different examples that we can choose from. Expanding, slim, one with expandable folders. You know what? Let's try this one. So I'm going to come into the code. We're going to copy that and let's prompt it in Bolt. Please add a sidebar to this page. It should be its own component so that I can reuse it amongst other pages. Please use the following sidebar component from the untitled UI library. Install what's necessary to make it work. I'll paste the code. Now let's send this off. It's complete and now we have a beautiful and functioning sidebar. Okay, now let's try adding a component from another design library. Here is React Bits, and it's got a wide variety of really gorgeous interactive components that you can see here. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go into the installation and read through how it wants us to install it. Once we've got an understanding of that, we'll choose the component that we want. In this case, I actually really like how this header fades in, and we're going to go into the code and we're going to install this manually this time. So we come into manual, make sure we're not on NPM, and we're going to copy this here. Jump into bolts, go into our terminal, and we're going to paste this. Before we do, look at package.json and notice how many packages we have installed. We're going to paste the code, install motion. We're going to hit that, and we should see this appear in our installed packages after it's done. There we go. Motion is now installed. So that's step one. Now to use it, we make sure that we've got TypeScript selected and Tailwind. Now we're going to copy this code, jump back into Bolt and prompt it. I would like to use the following code adapted to my current page so that the Hello World title blows in on page load. We'll add the code and we'll send it off. The prompt is finished. Now when we reload the page, just like that, our Hello World title blows in how we expected it to. So there we go. We've been able to install design libraries and their relative components here in our project. We've been able to add all the complexities of a date picker without having to manually create them ourselves. We've added in a sidebar and also used some beautiful animations as well. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learned a lot. Hopefully you can implement these into your projects. I can't wait to see some of the stunning stuff that you build with Vault. Until next time.